part three of this recycled Dell PC emulation build. I mean, you can go with any name brand. It's just Dell used to supply a lot of computers to schools and businesses. So you can find them all around the place uh, as cheap as $20, you know, under 200 a lot of the time. And um, so pick one up if you can. They make great emulation machines, great home entertainment centers. You can stream on them, all sorts of things. And so this is part three. In the previous two parts, I showed you some front end, some emulator front end, some performance issues or some performance uh, benchmarks. But with the issues is uh, these had a built-in graphics card, the Intel HD chipset, and I was maxing out the GPU with PSP. But I want to play PlayStation 2. I want to play Citra. I want to play Dolphin, Nintendo 3DS, and um, GameCube. So in order to do that, we need to upgrade the GPU. And fortunately, this um, Optiplex 3020 has a PCI Express 16 lane slot on it. So I've heard you might be able to get up to a GTX 1050 Ti, but I went the safe route with power consumption and went with the GT 1030 low profile. I found one for $60 brand new with a warranty gigabyte brand for 60 bucks. So I was excited about that. We're going to put that thing in this emulation uh, machine and then uh, do some further benchmarking. So let's check this out. All right, fresh off the press from Amazon, we have the GeForce GT 1030 low profile, two gigs of video RAM. There's all the information on that. The other thing about this is it shouldn't take too much power. Minimum 300 watt it says, but we're pretty close to 300, so it should be okay. We'll see, right? So inside the box, you have the graphics card. You open it up. You have a little extra slot, graphics card. You get a CD-ROM, and then a little user manual. The CD-ROM has graphic drivers and utility. All right, there's a little bit of light here. So let's just go ahead and flick this open here. And I believe it's gonna use one of these slots. I think I can just pull out both. Okay, we're gonna open our graphics card. This graphics card has a little thing you gotta pull off. And then that should fit in there. Uh, oh, you might wanna see the graphics card, so this is what it looks like. And you'll notice there's no s secondary power does have DVI and HDMI. That's another thing with going with a little higher end graphics card is you get the HDMI out. And you can see it just has the fan power and that's about it. So, should be a fairly straightforward install here. Ah, so you do, it, because it's it comes with the full slot, I gotta go ahead and get a screwdriver and undo this here. So you gotta take out that screw there and this little nut right here spacer okay and then this oh there's two of them for that dvi all right so that one's off and then we put this mini on it only fits a certain way there you go it should say the word hdmi and then we got to line this back up and screw it all in so i'm going to start with the screw okay so now it's low profile, it should fit right in there. Line it up. And then plunker down. All right. Clicked right in there. Got that in and I think I can just go ahead and squish that in. Oh, there you go, now it's done. All right, so I skipped the part about installing drivers, but um, basically you would just continue using the motherboard HDMI slot on your first boot until the either Windows installs your drivers or even better yet, go to nvidia.com and download your drivers, install them, 
and then on your second boot, you can start using the HDMI port out of your graphics card. And here we are in the Dolphin emulator doing some GameCube games, playing Super Smash Brothers. And as you can see, already we're no longer maxing out the GPU. If you watched uh, part two of this series, you could see the performance on the stock Intel HD graphics. Um, and then this i5 is holding up just fine, the CPU, as you see. So uh, I am Link here. I'm not very good, as you see. But uh, all I did for Dolphin was I installed the emulator, added my controls, and uh, most of my graphic settings are on default, but I am um, trying to make the screen as big as possible. Um, I don't know if I include in this video, but I do occasionally full screen things and then go back to the task manager just to see if full screening is going to um, max out the CPU or GPU. And in all those cases, it was not maxed out. Um, with GameCube, I don't think I ever went over I want to say 50%, 60%, so there it is, it's 56 right now, like 60, 65% of the GPU. And then the CPU, as you see, it never really goes past 50 or 55%. So it's going to play the majority of GameCube games now that we've upgraded that GPU. Um, and so that was a really worthwhile upgrade, just in that one little graphics card. So 60 bucks, going a really long way. As you can see, I'm probably not going to win this. What did I get? All right, 10th loser. All right, or the 9th loser. Okay, so here now we're in a PlayStation 2 emulator. And um, if you, you'll you notice I exit out here so you can see my um, my settings. And I, I, I need to mess with these settings a little bit more within the emulator. You know, you see some little hiccups here and there, but I don't think it's because of the, the hardware. I think it's an emulation thing because you'll see when I show you the actual, um, you know, CPU and GPU, what percentage of them are actually being used, um, and the RAM, it's it's nowhere near maxed out. So, um, this is one of the more graphically intense PlayStation 2 games. A ton of PlayStation 2 games play perfect on this um, on this build. And again, this is totally playable. So you'll see a little spike in the GPU there. That's not, that's just when you close the system. It wasn't spiking like that in the game. And then here we have Bully for PlayStation 2. Um, and as you see, it's running really well. It's barely using any of that GPU. So here it is, uh, windowed mode, but full screened. Just playing around. And uh, you'll notice again, it just, you know, the loading times, is that's PlayStation for you, CD based game. But as you see, even through the loading screens, going from moving to not moving, uh, bully, I you know about 30% CPU and, and GPU usage, so um, it's running totally fine, totally good there. All right, so here we have for PlayStation 2, we have uh, Soul Calibur 2, I believe, arcade mode, and. Uh, so a lot more GPU usage here and CPU usage, but as you see, it's running great. It's looking great, running great. And so I imagine if I was full screen it, again, maybe 80% max on the GPU. So we're getting closer to maxing it out, but uh, the CPU not even close. And uh, here you go, I, I full screened it here with, with the, in windowed mode. And uh, you'll see when we exit out the uh, that we're still not we're still not over our capacity. So you get that little spike when you exit out, but otherwise it's fine. Next up is Dreamcast. Um, I'm using Null DC. There's Demo and a few other options there. I was just setting up my controls here. I'm gonna play uh, Revolt, which is a game that doesn't run on the Raspberry Pi. You know, it's a little bit more graphically intense. And uh, we're full screening it here. All right, a little revolt action. I mean, this is running at 100%. You know, full screen, it's looking great. Xbox 260 controller runs great on this thing. I'm not the best at the game. Hanging in a measly fourth and uh, fast forwarding here. And uh, about to exit out and just check out the GPU performance. And just make sure you look at the, um, right in the beginning there, those spikes are just from exiting the game, but as you see about 30% GPU usage 
for Dreamcast games. And then CPU not even close. Now we're on PPSSP, the uh, PSP emulator, and uh, Daxter. This is like 4X or 6X. And this game, you could just run it all the way up to 8X, 10X, and it runs just fine. It doesn't even come close, as you see, like 22%, 30% max on the GPU. Very, very easy. But the next game, God of War, is a game that just is such a hog on the GPU. And you'll see, we'll try it in 3X and 4X, and I believe I went into 5X as well. Or I know I did, I just don't remember if I got footage of that for you guys. But 5X, no way. You cannot run 5X unless maybe you make the window really, really small. But as you see, this is 4X, and we're only using about 75, 80% of the GPU, and um, it looks beautiful. I mean, the 4X, God of War, really nice stuff. Um, and then I think here you'll be able to see that I changed the resolution again. All right, and so you can see here, rendering resolution. Is that 4X? Here's your 5X. You'll notice significant slowdowns now. You're dropping 75%. GPU's getting way up there. Um, so that's why I recommend you can do 3X, no lag, 0, 0, 0, 4X, 90% of the time, no lag. Um, and then if you're playing other PSP games, you can run full settings with this setup right here. So pretty cool. All right, and here we are in the Citra emulator. Let's go ahead and go to 3x native resolution. Um, you can change the views. You know, it's two screens on the simulator. At the lower screen, a much smaller. And here we are starting a race. And it's running good. You can see on the lower portion of the screen, the speed is at 100%. Uh, GPU and CPU almost at 50% each. Um, but it looks great. Really fun game. There's actually a lot of great games from Zelda. Uh, Mario games, Pokemon games for the Nintendo 3DS, so um, it really opens up a lot of emulation potential. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just kind of go change my resolutions around. So I'm going to keep it at 3x and then just go full screen here um, to show you, and then I'm going to minimize it and show you what kind of percentage we're using then. here in a moment I'm gonna go ahead and pause it let's check out our performance so a little bit more uh, CPU and GPU usage the bigger the window size but let's go ahead and bump this up to 4x and you know throughout this whole I'm gonna keep going up and up and up from you know 4x to 5x small screen to big screen and you're gonna be able to see all the performance um, while I'm doing this I want to kind of wrap up this video and then I'm gonna play Sonic last so to wrap up the video, once you add a graphic card to these Dell computers, you can really do a lot. I mean, as you saw, Dreamcast, Nintendo 64 got better, um, PlayStation 2 was runnable, you get the Citra emulator, you got the Dolphin emulator, um, you know, Sega Saturn will probably run a little bit better that I didn't do in this video, but it should. And so a lot of those 3D-based systems are just gonna run a ton better. Um, I do wanna do a final video or potentially two final videos, one on four-player action, you know, like some four-player GoldenEye or something like that, or GameCube. And then I also would like to do um, a video on PC gaming because I, I this should be able to play Doom and Crisis amongst a lot of other games out there right now. So as far as emulation, pick up one of these Dells, upgrade the graphics card, um, the GT30, as I mentioned, or one 1030, 1030, I got for $60 brand new on Amazon um, there's a bunch of different manufacturers things like that but um, as you saw it fit right in no additional power uh, I didn't have any kind of overheating issues or power consumption issues um, the, the machine itself is producing a lot more heat though you could tell when you put your hand to the back of it as it should but um, no issues as far as overheating or anything like that so thumbs up all the way around this is the way to go um, I've heard you can go up to a GTX 1050 Ti but I cannot confirm that. If maybe somebody wants to comment in the description below. You just want to be careful with power consumption. And some of these um, graphics cards require a uh, external power source, so their own uh, personal power feed from the C from the PSU, the power supply. So just keep that in mind as well. So we're about to jump from this game. As you saw, we're maxing it out now. 
But, um, you know, it took a lot to max this thing out. And then we're going to play some Sonic the Hedgehog 2 here, um, 3D. And again, a, a great game. So in conclusion, if you can find one of these at like a thrift store or you find them in a dumpster, whatever, a lot of times they just end up in a landfill because there's so many of these manufactured. And as you can see, you can really kind of unplug these things by getting the eight gigabyte version or get a four gigabyte RAM version and add four more gigabytes or add an eight gigabyte stick. Um, the dedicated graphics card though, for sure, is the huge, huge sale on this. Um, and once you have that, this thing just purrs really nice as you see um, and as I mentioned I'm gonna do a couple more videos on this um, so stay tuned and if you missed the other ones go ahead and tune into those um, if you could like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next one <laughs>